are never gonna believe what I'm about to show you today. There is so much to uncover here. So today we're gonna tour some model homes. Some of them are like million dollar model homes. It's gonna blow your mind. It blew my mind. We are taking steps into looking into our options because we've been looking for a house for a while. We just can't find one. So finally I went online one morning and I was looking through like new builds and I thought, oh my gosh, I found some amazing floor plans. So I made an appointment to get some walkthroughs on some of these floor plans and I was stunned. And I think you will be too. We are touring four model homes. The first two we look at are the same model, but one is like, you'll see it's, you know, has upgrades and built-ins and is basically over a million dollars. And then the second one we're looking at is like our budget. <laughs> so you'll see the differences there. Oh, and you guys, I think I found my dream home. My dream home. My favorite home that I have ever seen in my entire life is here. I think I found it. I've got goosebumps all over my blood. So let's check it out. It's not the first model though, I'll tell you that. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, the sun. It's a new day. We are actually, oh, hi, long guy. It's a new day. We are actually looking at. It's not gonna work. <laughs> He's not even weed eating anything. He's just making noise. It is a new day. We're actually at a new uh, neighborhood. We're finally looking into new construction. You guys, sometimes land is just so expensive. We're obviously keeping our options open because I don't know, there's pros and cons to everything. Uh, so we found this new neighborhood with amazing floor plans. And so I thought, you know what? Let's just check this out. Oh, I'm holding Meredith's little shoes. So we're gonna meet with someone and probably tour a house. So let's go. So here is the front door and then there would be an office. Built-ins are not included, but absolutely gorgeous. And then a dining room, wonderful. And then over here, there would be like a little butler cabinet and the pantry is a oh, nice size pantry. Oh, you guys, the oven, wait for the kitchen. Nice open floor plan, but not crazy open where you can see the entire house. Do you know what I mean? So beautiful, lovely, open living room. Just the space between the walls and the banister. Like there's so much space and the island is absolutely massive. It's gotta be eight feet. I mean, it's gorgeous, right? And then we have another uh, breakfast nook, but it's bigger than my dining room right now. Outdoor pools are not included, it's additional, but they do pavers on the lanai. And look at that built-in kitchen, obviously not included. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot this side of the house, though. So east wing, I don't even know. There's a bathroom over here, and then a bedroom down here. So very secluded, very nice for someone who um, wants to be secluded. And we have one of those. So beautiful, gorgeous, lovely. We're going up the stairs. Holy cow, this house is gorgeous. So of course this is just a show home. It's a model, but you can get a view on just how absolutely huge this place is. This is the game room. In a normal house, this would be a closet, but what a great option to put built in. So you guys right now, obviously this house is well far and above our budget. In the normal home, this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. Alex, there would be a bathroom here, so it'd be bumped up. And then bedroom. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, there would be a bedroom right there. Oh, I'll show you why there's not in a minute. And then one bedroom over here. Huge, huge. Oh, look at all the um, astrology on the wall. Amazing. Okay, and then over here is another bedroom. If We could fit all of our kids in this bedroom, Alex. Look how big this bedroom is. It's, crazy. it's absolutely massive. Uh, this is not included, obviously. It's a built-in. We're looking at like a over million dollar home right now. And we, <laughs> that is well far and above our budget. But just get a feel of like how the furniture looks. Ooh, hi, in a home. And then here is one of the bathrooms. A uh, wonderful size. Okay, and then coming out over here, a beautiful banister. I wonder what it looks like in the actual house. Alex, did you see this? That's crazy. No reaction? No, it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this would not be here, but it would give more space in the closet, so it would be bumped out. But look at this massive closet. Again, it would not come with the built-ins, but good inspiration. Yeah. And then the bathroom is absolutely massive. Again, oh 
my gosh. The shower is probably bigger than the actual house we live in right now. Coming on down this way to the main bedroom is another closet. Oh, what? And then an absolutely enormous bedroom, a lanai. And then this would be a wall. And that would be another bedroom. That would be the Jack and Jill. But right now they have it as a sitting area, which is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, did you see this? So if you want like million dollar home inspiration, um, I'm pretty sure I'm providing that for you right now. Okay. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Oh, I forgot down here. This is the garage. This is a landing area. Oh, you like it? Yeah. Oh, Gary? And then the living room. I mean, living. I mean, bigger than my living room. It is the laundry room. Okay. Okay. So we're in the model, getting a feel of you know the type of house that we would be getting. Obviously, it looks pretty different without furniture. That's why we saw the one with furniture first, just to get you know to scale, see what we would be able to fit. Uh, pretty decent size dining room. It's echoey and everyone's talking, but we can get over that. They have, this is the living room. The stairs look move in ready. And then down here, uh, there's still a nice little cabinet, a landing right there off of the garage door. I'm holding Meredith, so I'm going to point with my feet. And then, oh, no lights. Look at the non-millionaire style laundry room. Yes, this is definitely more accurate. <laughs> okay, moving back out here to the kitchen. This is the butler area and then the pantry. Still nice size. Still the nice uh, shelving. Beautiful. I can just hide away in here. Is that a bug? Okay, gotta go. Okay, coming back to the dining room because I want you guys to see the amazement that is the kitchen. And here it is. Look at that island, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this one cuts a little bit. I don't mind that, it gives you a little more space to move and groove. And then another Eden breakfast area, but really huge, massive dining room. And this is more realistic of the Lanai area. And then I'm gonna move on over here. Okay, then over here again to a bathroom on the first floor. I think that's the only one on the first floor. And then the guest bedroom down here, or not guess, just another bedroom. We're gonna move our way upstairs. I don't know if they're leaving. I thought we were going upstairs. Okay, well, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the playroom, the media room, the massive room, kids' living room. Call it what you want. I uh, definitely like a bar better than closet. Oh, okay, and this one is a bit different too. <gasps> no, it's not. <gasps> a Jack and Jill. This is my favorite part of life. A Jack and Jill bathroom. Okay, Jack and Jill bathroom right here. Oh, this is absolutely my favorite part. My favorite part about life is this bathroom. Can I, can every house have a Jack and Jill? It's amazing. And then uh, suddenly I'm in another bedroom. Great, fantastic. What's over here? All right, we're passing that playroom. This is the huge uh, bathroom, not bathroom, what is this, bedroom, with the closet that. and then the non-built-ins. That. that, yeah, do you wanna be in this bedroom? Yeah, she doesn't care, she's like. Um, dude, I can fit you in a closet, Meredith, because that's how big your bedroom is right now, the size of one of these closets. Okay, I'm going into the east wing, where the main bedroom is. Uh, okay, different scale of the main bedroom without that seating area, but still, this is so much bigger than what we have. And I don't really care about um, how big my bedroom is. The bathtub looks a little different, but I don't take baths, so <laughs> I couldn't care less. As long as there's a bathtub to bathe my children, countertops are nice. Uh, all right, Meredith, how would you think? Okay, oh, in the closet. Oh, no built-ins in this one. Yes. Uh, I no longer feel like a millionaire. Now we are done with this house. That feature, two shower heads. Boom! 
Can you see the two shower heads? There you are, amazing, never had that before. That model was amazing, right? There's so much more to come, you have no idea. So the second model I'm about to show you, I turned the camera on when we get to the first floor. There are a couple models that I didn't film, but once we got to the first floor on this model, I thought, oh my gosh, this is incredible, let's go. Okay, we're upstairs entering the main, the main bedroom, the main wing, the main mansion. This is the bathroom? I'm sorry. What resort am I at? Alex, there's like a little sitting area. Do people just get out of the shower and sit? What is happening? Oh my gosh, and there's a door. Where does this lead? A closet, I bet. Oh, I don't even believe it. Look at this balcony out here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do on that balcony? We're in another model. And Alex walked into the bathroom and said, wow, you have to see, oh my. Did you see the department store in here? I uh, will. Well, um... <laughs> this is absolutely massive. Wow. What? Are you kidding? This is insanity. I know it's very dark and the door is closing, so that doesn't help. But um, obviously this is uh, still under constru <laughs> construction. This, so this is the primary bedroom. Lovely. And laundry room on the second floor. Crazy. Alex, did you see the laundry room? So this house is very open. All the banisters. So not as quiet or secluded, but uh, you know, different strokes for different folks. Is that what they say? <gasps> a Jack and Jill. Oh. oh, there's just, it fooled me. A closet. All right, it's a closet. She knows I love a good Jack and Jill. All right, there's one bedroom. Here's another bathroom and then a bedroom. No Jack and Jill, but that's okay. Coming on down here. Okay, so this is the bonus room. Uh, not as grandiose, but still quite large, bigger than a normal size bedroom. And then this is, we're still upstairs. It's the other side. So this is another bedroom over here. And then the bathroom at the end of the hall. So it's accessible to people of going down the hall. I'm gonna run down and then show you the bottom floor real quick. Okay, this is the front door. And then they have the den or office area over here. There's a garage right there. There are two garages, three cars it can fit. I love these doors. That is a nice size office. Okay, coming off of the um, front door is behind me. Very similar to the first house we saw. It has the dining room right here. It has, oh, another entry from the garage right there. A little landing area. This is the living room. I feel like it's a little smaller. Uh, but you know, that's okay. I think they use the extra space in the bedroom upstairs. This, I feel like the island is a little smaller too, but it's still absolutely massive. There's, the closet is not quite as big, but still, again, I'm saying not quite as big comparing it to a million dollar home. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so very big, plenty of space, nice lanai out there, still no pool. So that would be a quite large expense. Um, Oh, and then we didn't see this part of the house where we, uh, someone's actually in there right now, so I'll just give a little peek, but there's a bathroom right here. Love the tile, it's gorgeous, beautiful. And then a bedroom in there. I'll give you a view of what it looks like from the bottom. Yes. Beautiful. That one's incredible too, right? The best part for me about the model number two is that the laundry room was on the floor with all of the bedrooms. But we don't want all of the bedrooms on the same floor, so it was a pass for us. And we went on to tour my favorite model, you guys. This is my favorite model I have ever seen. I think I've fallen in love. I think this is like the ultimate. We filmed this a couple weeks ago, and I don't think we've seen a house yet because every house that comes on the market, I'm just like, it doesn't compare. I don't know why I saw this model in real life because now I just feel like nothing can compete, you know? So without further ado, here it is. All right, in we go to the amazing model that I've been dreaming of. Oh, well, ooh, ah, shiny. Um, den, office, beautiful. Does it come with the furniture? No, okay. Okay, dining room to our right. Beautiful dining room. Ooh, there's a whole area over here. Laundry room, isn't it? It's like a whole. Yes, room. I've looked at this 3D model so many times online. <laughs> so I 
feel like I know where everything is. I know what to expect in this model. I literally dream about this house. It's very rare. They don't build a lot of them. Oh, wow. I love to smell. Look for the, all the water bottles. This is a little butler area and it has the, uh, what is this, pantry? Nice, large pantry, just like in the other models that we saw. There are other people here, so I'm gonna try not to get them. Uh, I'll probably go upstairs. Okay, let's go, let's go this way. This is the living room. Do you know why this is my favorite? Can you see it? I'm telling Alex, this is my favorite. Okay, there are stairs right here. All right, let's head upstairs. We're headed upstairs. And this is, we you walk right into like a game center, the loft area. Lovely, lovely. Everything is lovely. Everything is lovely. Okay, isn't it lovely when it's all nice and shiny and new? I also love a good antique home, older style home. Oh, yes. Look, everybody, just take a peek at this. A Jack and Jill bedroom and bathroom. You guys know. Oh, I'm a sucker for a good Jack and Jill. So here it is. The uh, toilet and bath are right in there with a window up top. Okay, and then we're entering another bedroom. Oh, do, does the decor come with it? I mean, I can't decorate this well. <laughs> okay, um, I'm kind of lost. Where do I go now? This house is huge. All of these houses are huge. Back in the game room is this way. So we're gonna head down this way to the hallway. There's some rooms over here, a bathroom, nice and shiny and bright. Oh my gosh, everything is shiny and bright. I don't know how I feel about that too. All of these light fixtures, you can get really good inspiration just looking at uh, stage homes, right? A nice size closet, not too big, not too small. And then another bedroom just across the hall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like crying, this room, this house is so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna back out and go back down this way. And <laughs> guess what guys, there's even more. Did you know there's even more to explore? Uh, for a second I thought someone was up here. Almost got embarrassed, but then remembered, <laughs> I'm weird, so what am I gonna do about it? Massive, what? So not only do you have this living space, you also have that living space right there. So much room, so much room which is, you know, obviously what we do. We like to entertain. We always have people over. A lot to clean, yes, but uh, a lot of space for people to enjoy themselves. Also this lanai, not lanai, balcony. Okay, going back out here, we're gonna head downstairs to see the main bedroom. Yes, it is a split floor plan. <laughs> okay, and then over here is the main suite. Oh, what? Oh, what? It's a separate floor plan and a nice large bedroom and a door to the outside. A door to the outside and a pool, except for uh, it doesn't come with a pool. It's extra. Do you guys know how much pools are? Uh, expensive. It does come with this lanai area all paved in and stuff. Well, can I go out here? No, it's locked. Okay, but that's not all. Over here, we have a whole suite. It's a whole suite. Would you ever leave your bathroom if it looked like this? Would you ever get out of the shower? I would be, I don't know, all these glass doors make me feel really self-conscious. Like what if someone just accidentally opens the door and peeks in? Whoops, you see everything. <laughs> okay, shower heads, I'm dying. You guys, I could just sit and hang out in the shower. That's why people have seats in the shower. If you have a shower that looks like that, yes, you sit down and you enjoy the view. <laughs> okay, and then this is the rest of the bathroom. It is the size of my house. Woo! Oh my gosh, I almost, I, well, I did fall. I didn't almost fall, I fell into the shower. Is that a good sign? <laughs> Probably not. Here's the little uh, toilet area, great, who cares? Here is the closet. Oh, wow. Obviously it will not come with the built-ins, but inspiration for the future, right? Gotta keep that the future, oh, you never know. You never know, you never know. Okay, coming down to this hallway and then that is back out to the living room, but let's take one more peek on the bathroom. Wow, I'm in love. I don't even like to take showers or baths. I don't even like a bathroom. I don't like to go to the bathroom either. Here is the living room, nice size living room. Okay, so here is the uh, eat-in breakfast and the kitchen. 
it's just absolutely gorgeous, right? The island is massive. I mean, there's just so much space. Let me back up so you can get a full view of everything. Hold on. So this is the front door. Turned around to the front door. Laundry room, bathroom that way. Dining room, kitchen, stairs to the second floor. Is this our home? <laughs> Not quite as loud anymore. Main bedroom is right through that hallway. Living room, semi-open floor plan. When you have everything just right here. Great for entertaining. Wow, I'm crying. Pretty much the house of our dreams, he just said. <laughs> Alex loves it. I love it. Do we love the price? No. <laughs> but nowadays, you kind of just have to make it work. So uh, we have a conference call, which is why we're kind of rushing through this. So I will... Be right back. <laughs> Are you crying? That's our house, right? I mean, that's it. Alex literally said, where do I sign when we were in there? That house offers everything that we're looking for. It checks off every single box, aside from the fact that it does not have a pool, which is also a contributing factor into why we didn't sign up. Okay, there's so, so many reasons, but where do I start? Okay, so I told you when I first started looking at new builds there, I found this like building company. They were building a few neighborhoods around town. So I thought, okay, let's go check them out. First neighborhood we went into, they didn't have the model that I wanted. Let's just call the model Julia because the models have first names. So they were unable to build the Julia in the first neighborhood that we saw, which was our ideal neighborhood, but the houses were kind of close together. It didn't have as much uh, land as we were wanting, but we were willing to compromise, right? Unfortunately, they didn't build that model. So we went to another neighborhood, which is where we toured the Julia and fell in love. So these houses sit on half an acre, which is lovely. It's enough space, you're not on top of your neighbors, it's great. And the best part about it is that it's in our budget. How is that even possible that this house is in our budget? I'll tell you how it's possible. This is where they get us. So this neighborhood that they do build the Julia, they require a CDD fee. I didn't know what that was. I still don't even know what it is, but I do know that it costs $4,000 extra a year for 15 years. It has something to do with like a new build neighborhood. They have to like do plumbing and stuff. I don't know. It's over my head. All I know is, oh, whoa, that's a lot of money on top of HOA fees and on top of property tax. And the property tax on this kind of house, because it sits on half an acre, is more than, you know, uh, some other homes that we were looking at. So those were big like no checks, but the biggest no was that they're not building a Julia in this neighborhood. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Why was this model brought into my life? And then I'm thinking, okay, Kim. There's a reason why you see, saw this model. There's a reason. You, I feel like I'm getting closer to finding our home, right? We have finally found a floor plan that we really love. Let's bring it to an architect, contractor, builder, whatever they're called. I don't know which one we were actually talking to. So we found a plot of land, which I actually filmed, but I don't think I put it in this video. It's amazing. It's an acre and a half. Unfortunately, they're asking way too much money for it and that maybe I will film a separate video of like where we found land. It is absolutely incredible. It's actually really perfect for what we want, but they're asking way too much money, right? Wouldn't life just be easier if I had an infinite amount, <laughs> amount of money to spend on a house? <laughs> on our dream house, no less? Because at the end of the day, that's what we're looking for. The, one of the reasons why we want a split floor plan is because, you know, we're looking into the future. Alex has, you know, bad back, bad legs, and into the future, maybe we're not gonna wanna go up and down the stairs. So we want uh, the main bedroom on the main floor. We also, one of our must-haves is living spaces. We want a living space for adults. We also want a living space for the kids, but <laughs> we want them separate. There was a model that we were asked if we wanted to tour, and I said, no, that just won't work out for us. It's one level, it's a one floor, but um, it was pretty compartmentalized, and the bedrooms were like in three different areas of the house. There were two different living spaces, and then also the main living space, and while it was a split floor plan, <laughs> you have no idea what's happening down here. It was a very large house. It didn't work out. It would not have worked out for our wants. So we just didn't tour it. And I'm kind of kicking myself because it's a beautiful house and I should have just showed you guys, but I didn't. I did tour an extra large, amazing house, which I'll show you next. But let me finish my thought, which was, <laughs> 
Oh, what was I saying? Oh, wanting separate living spaces for the kids. That's why the Julia is so amazing because the main floor is basically like adults, right? And then the kids come over, great, go upstairs. That's your play area. That's Those are where your bedrooms are, all that good stuff. So I liked that it was separate from each other, but also they could come down, have some snacks, whatevs. And we have kids over our house, which we have almost every weekend, cousins and neighborhood friends. It's the same people, they're just, over all the time. Uh, they're all around the house. Ooh, zip zapping around and I'm like, oh! So anyway, that's why we love the Julia. Oh, oh, another reason we decided to pass, I'm literally shedding hair. Ugh. It's because there was no pool. Do you guys know how much a pool costs? Around $70,000. Fifty, sixty, seventy ballpark, right? Depending on like how big, what you want, all that good stuff. So that was another consideration for us. Okay, so anyway, we contacted a builder and they said, this is a great floor plan. We would love to do this for you. And they gave us the price. It was the same price as this house in the neighborhood was, except for this one didn't come with land. So like I said, we found land, but the land, they're asking way, 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 way too much, like over more than half of what it's valued at. And that's everyone around here. Everyone just is trying to get way too much money for land, and rightfully so. I mean, he's probably gonna get that amount of money. We're just not willing to pay that amount of money. So, short story long, I don't even know how to end this. We, I feel like, are somewhat closer to our house, but at the same time, not. So while we mull that over, let me show you the fourth model. It's gonna blow your socks off. This is like the nicest model of house I've ever been into. It doesn't really check off what we're looking for, but it is incredible. Another million dollar home. Okay, we are touring another home. Oh, look at, the, oh my gosh, million dollar home. I just can't even right now. Okay, very similar to some of the other models that we're seeing, a little bigger, no uh, guest area, but formal living room formal dining room and then like just get a shot of this right here the entryway the foyer <sighs> I'm crying on the inside you guys like what? what what could you just imagine this place a mess with shoes everywhere okay I'm trying not to live my best life right here I'm trying to live my best life a little landing area uh bathroom right here half bathroom very nice we're gonna back up and then these, this hallway, ooh, does the artwork come with it? No, similar to the other models, we have, oh, <laughs> this is the formal dining room. <laughs> then what was that? They, everything looks fancy, so everything looks formal, right? So I'll give you a nice shot, uh, 360 view, if you will, because that's how I've been touring these houses lately. Again, the kitchen, wow, look at all of this seating. It is absolutely incredible. And then this is the living room so stinking outrageously beautiful i can't like look at those beams <laughs> are you crying i'm crying look I, i'm speechless these models are gorgeous by the way this home is so big it's six thousand square feet i stuttered saying that because i just saying that six oh no it's not i think it's five 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 thousand five hundred so it's a lot of house. I said, oh, this is too big. The problem is in this area, they only have a select amount of houses uh, available for building, the lot sizes, whatever. These would sit on half acre. That is, I think the garage is my guess, but look at this like mudroom. Oh, they already have the Ray done. Okay, oh, it's golf cart accessible. This is insane. Wow, guys, did you know we were gonna be touring million dollar homes today? <gasps> so mudroom, let me clean my lens. The least I can have is a clean lens while we tour a million dollar home. Whoa, can you peek out there? I guess on one of the houses, Gary was saying there was a walk-in pool. Incredible. Okay, obviously this is a show house, so it is more expensive than the other models we would be seeing. Here is the laundry room. Absolutely. Oh, the light turned on. It's incredible. Oh gosh, I love this so much. Okay, right off of the pool is another bathroom. It is gorgeous. The floor is gorgeous. Here is a bed, an office. No closet, so it's an off. Wait, is this a closet back here? Ooh, a closet. Eden, wow. Okay, coming back here. We're still on the first floor. I feel like I'm seeing the entire house. And then there's a bedroom back here. Oh my goodness, 
Are you getting like decor inspo? Decor and more inspiration. There is a hallway. Oh no, that's the garage. I'm lost, I'm lost. Like just walking from one room to the other, you get lost. Okay, we're gonna head on upstairs. Okay, moving on up, moving on up. Wow, wow, you guys, just wow, wow. I'm blown away. Okay, what's up here? We don't know. A whole other house is what's up here. Oh my God, I remember looking at this one online. <laughs> I don't think you're ready. You're not ready for that area, so I'm gonna wait. Here's a bedroom over here. Yes, I remember looking at this online. Okay, I know exactly what's in our future. Beautiful bedroom right there. Linen closet. Oh my gosh, they even staged the linen closet. I'm crying. So here we go. There's a whole hallway. There's a game room down there. It's a whole other house down that way. But what I'm gonna show you right here, you step in to the main bedroom, the main wing of the house. I, a department store to our left of us, the department store. Welcome to the wads is what we would call this. Department living at its finest. Oh my gosh. They have succulents in their closet. They have a whole wall of hats. They obviously, this one has built-ins, but the um, regular model does not. Look how massive this closet is. Million dollar homes? Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> okay. And then over here, here is another closet. That's great. And then, oh my gosh, the bathroom across the way. So here's the hallway that we walked into. Back of us is the closet. And here is the bathroom. Oh, with the tub right in the middle. You wanna soak? You just go on right ahead. Oh my gosh, there's no door to the bathroom. I guess that's the uh, toilet over here probably. But they have, oh my God, where's the toilet? What the heck? It's a labyrinth. So I guess they have a nice little vanity over here. And then on the other side, another vanity over there, a much larger one. And then here is the shower with, Oh my gosh, two shower heads. It's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I'll give you a little overview. Are you screaming? Gosh. Okay, we're gonna cut out of here. No doors, but there are two double doors to the actual bedroom. So that keeps you nice and private. Out here, oh gosh, they're millionaires. They've got the AC running and the door open. What are we trying to air condition the outside here? They have a nice, uh, what is that, lanai? No, Kim, that is called a balcony. There we go, we closed it. Maybe that shouldn't have been closed. I don't know, I feel like we need to save that energy. Welcome to the main suite. This is a proper suite. This is huge. I, what would I do with this? I don't even know. I just, just one more peek. The ceiling, the floor, and more. Okay, we're gonna walk out of here and then we are going to turn down this hallway where all the fun is, okay? You thought the living room downstairs was big? It's not. This is where the party's at. This is where the party's at. Look at this bar area. Pull. If you can just scale a pool table and then the rest of the room is like massive. It's enormous. You have another door to the balcony out there. I am blown away. Look at the windows. <sighs> To the window, to the wall. It's incredible. So here is another bedroom. I think this is six bedroom. Beautiful wallpaper, obviously that isn't included. Oh wait, where's the closet? Okay, cool, closet. And then over here we have a bathroom. This is nice. Okay, nice bathroom, great, way to go. And then here's the tub and the toilet. Love a good toilet. Okay, almost done, I think, with this house. One more bedroom. This is bigger than my main bedroom at the house I'm living at currently. This is insane. And then another balcony. Do you see that out there? Oh my gosh. This is absolutely insane. I forgot to show you this, house under the stairs. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> it's huge, this is under the stairs storage. It just goes. That's incredible. Wow. Okay, finally able to catch our breath. There are pros and cons to um, obviously building in a community like this. They, the house that we really love and want, they don't have a ready model for it or a plot of land. I don't really know the verbiage, 
but uh, they said it could be ready by fall of next year. I'm not really looking forward to like waiting that long for something, but also we do really love the house. So I don't know what we're gonna do. They said they have two models available, but people are on those waiting lists. We might just add our names to the waiting list and see what happens and then look while we're waiting. It's incredible. I don't even, I mean, these homes are gorgeous. So we'll see, we'll see what the future holds. We'll see what happens. I don't, I don't know guys, this is incredible. Are you blown away? I mean, absolutely amazing. Like I'm drooling over that top loft area. I don't even want to call it a loft. I could fit my entire house in that top game room. Unreal, <laughs> it's unreal. So that's where we're at right now. We didn't sign up for, you know, one of those to be built. Oh, I don't think I mentioned earlier, Another reason why we were didn't sign up to have the Julia built for us was because the lots of land that they are still building at the current moment. So they have a whole neighborhood, but they build it in sections. So the you know first few sections they have a few plots of land left for houses, and none of those are for the Julia. <laughs> I don't know how they figure this stuff out. I guess they can't have like the same models and they don't even have a lot of these models. And why don't they have more floor plans that are split? Is that like an old thing that people don't want anymore? Because I have found that on a lot of the floor plans that I'm looking at, a lot of them just have a normal sized bedroom on the bottom floor, maybe for a guest or something. We don't want that. We want the main bedroom on the main floor and it's pretty hard to come by, at least in the homes that I have been looking at, the floor plans. Oh, and on top of them not already building a Julia, they said, okay, well maybe we can get your name on a list for the future, like the next slot of homes that we're planning to build. And we said, that sounds amazing. Okay, give me some more details. <laughs> And so she said, how about this plot? So she pointed out a plot of land. It was a half acre this way, but it sat next to four houses going this way. So four backyards we would have to contend with on the side of our house. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna have to think about that. But then on top of that, that house would not be built and ready until fall of 2022. Uh, crying again, but also fall of 2002 may turn into winter of 2022. Did I say 2002? 2022, maybe 2023, because we all know how sometimes builders can um, not get things ready on time. So of all of those reasons, we did not get our name on the list. And this, mostly the CDD fee, <laughs> mostly that. $4,000 a year for 15 years, add that on top of the price of a house, and I just feel like, oh my gosh, maybe all someone will be selling their Julia in 15 years, and uh, the market won't be so crazy, maybe we'll just buy it then. <laughs> 15 years. Oh my gosh, okay, so obviously there was a lot to unpack, a lot to see in this video. I know maybe the camera work wasn't very smooth because I was rushing through the homes, and I didn't show, you know, all of the detail that I normally would, but I hope you guys got like the gist. Those homes were massive and they were huge. The beautiful thing about this is I do feel like we're one step closer to finding our home, to knowing what we want. And um, our realtor actually, when Alex and I were in the Julia, we were just talking to each other. Like I was so excited. I said, this is it. This is our house. And our realtor was just like, I told you, when you step into your house, you are just gonna know. I literally have goosebumps on my entire body. If you can zoom in, you probably can't see it. I can see it on my legs right now. I just know, like, I love that house. I don't typically love cookie cutter homes, and that's exactly what that is, but that is the best home that I've seen so far. And our realtor, Gary, he just said, I told you, you're gonna walk into a house, and you're gonna know, and you're gonna say, this is it. I'm like, it's so ridiculous, but I'm getting choked up about it. I love that house. Goosebumps again. It's like falling in love when you know you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, needless to say, I don't know where we're at. That's where we're landing. We're still obviously on the hunt for homes. We just got sent over a few homes uh, yesterday morning, and I was looking through them, and I was like, oh, they're nice. They're nice. Maybe this could work. I don't like that. You know what I mean. Having a compromise and all that good stuff, but there's a reason 
why there wasn't a Julia available for us. There's a reason why we found it. There's a reason why we're still looking for land, for houses. I know that there's a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but I am just, you know, letting go and trusting the process and knowing, hoping <laughs> that there is a house in our future, not too far in our future <laughs> for us. So I love that you guys are on this journey with me. I hope you're enjoying the journey with me and looking at all these amazing homes. I hope you specifically liked this video because who doesn't love a good model show home? And obviously if we lived in a home like that, like it would not look like that at all. It would be like, like this, like chaos everywhere. Just in a night, some nice walls. <laughs> but it is always fun to look at show homes and all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I will see you next time. Bye.